What is NASPIT? NASPIT is a licensed trademark of Simply NAS. The acronym stands for Network Attached Storage Burn-in Testing. This term is used to describe the process of testing new network attached storage NAS, hardware and firmware for faults before putting it to use in a live environment. This is done by running stress testing software for a stipulated period of time, often 24 to 48 hours, but longer if needed. When we receive an order for a NAS system pre-installed with disk drives, it's prepared and configured with RAID, followed by burn testing to ensure the entire system undergoes a thorough examination, thus ensuring the server passes all tests to the highest standards set by us. Should the system hardware or any associated components fail at any point of the testing cycle, the system is pulled and returned back as faulty to our relevant vendor partner. The process seems simple, but setting it up is far from easy. Hard disk drives. All hard disk drives are pre-tested prior to integration. The smallest of faults, be it tolerable within industry standards, are classified by us as faults. The hard drive is rejected and eliminated from the process and again returned back to source as a DOA, dead on arrival. We continue to select drives from different batches so as to eliminate any bad batches that may have been produced during manufacturing. Once integrated, the drives are put through a vigorous routine that includes stress testing, including temperature tests and a host of read writes to ensure the drive platters are stressed to the nth degree. Memory First of all, when the new server is turned on, we boot off of the network and proceed to run the memory test that takes its sweet time, almost 10 to 12 hours, dependent on the manufacturer and model. RAID the appropriate RAID level is set and the system awaits completion of RAID synchronization. Once completed, the NAS server undergoes numerous reboots and a deletion of original RAID and a final rebuild of RAID level again. Why is NAS burn-in testing NAS bit, necessary? If within the designated time span the NAS servers are still running and with zero faults, they are considered suitable for rolling out to our customers. If there is a failure of any kind, the systems are replaced with new ones, including hard drives, and the process starts again until the NAS servers pass with zero faults. You would normally expect that this level of testing would be completed by the hardware manufacturers, and so these tests shouldn't show up any faults. In our experience of testing hundreds of machines, we do find faults, and we do send systems back. The reason it's so important to perform this level of testing on NAS servers is that the uptime demands are so high. The slightest faults will cause outages and downtime. Once a NAS server is deployed, never again will you have the opportunity to take it offline and perform such detailed testing. Even if it were to crash, there is always a demand that it be put back online as quickly as possible, not left offline whilst thorough diagnostics are completed. Always remember, this is hardware and failures can and will occur even after burn testing has been carried out. This is a fact of life we cannot avoid, but we do try and eliminate some of the hassle factor by testing. Thank you for buying from us. We truly appreciate your custom. This service is not available on diskless units, only for systems pre-configured with hard disk drives.